Right, we're going to ask question number six now. Um, so the question is about some elements group seven air compounds. Uh, chlorine is added to some drinking water supplies to decrease the risk of people uh, suffering from disease such as cholera. State why the amount of chlorine added must be controlled because chlorine is toxic. You only have, we only added a very small amount so we can it's not going to hurt us, you know, otherwise it would um, uh, affect our health. It would be harmful to us, it would be toxic to us, okay? So small amount is fine, bigger than a small amount, then it's just going to be dangerous. Given the equation for the reaction chlorine with water to form a solution containing two acids, explain with reference of electrons why this is a redox reaction. So if you put the re equation is Cl2 plus H2O goes to HCl plus HClO. Okay. So when you look at this, it goes from 0 to minus 1, and then here chlorine oxidation number 0 to plus 1. We can't talk about oxidation numbers because they're going to want in terms of electrons. So you've got to be careful what they ask you, okay? So if they didn't ask in terms of electrons, you could say that there's a decrease of oxidation number, therefore is reduced. And then there's an increased oxidation number, therefore is oxidized. But here to here, we gain electrons. So chlorine gains electrons to form chlorine in minus. And then chlorine loses electrons to form CO, ClO minus, okay? So that's the reason. So that's why you talk about electrons here. The next one here, it says a student bubbles chlorine to gas through a solution of sodium iodide. State observation of the student will make given ionic equation. So if you say this is disproportionation reactions, okay? So if you got chlorine plus iodide, you have to balance by two, two I minus, goes to iodine plus two Cl minus. So chlorine is more reactive or is a stronger oxidizing agent, so he will oxidize um, the iodine, iodide into iodine, okay? And the solution form is going to be brown, so the brown color is of iodine. Right, 6.4. The student adds a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to a small amount of uh, sodium iodide. This is the uh, group 7 reactions, okay, of sulfuric acid. Two gases sulfur to containing products are formed. Given the equation for the formation of these sulfur containing products, state the role of sulfuric acid for the formation of these products. That's three marks. First equation is going to be you start with H2SO4, okay, and you form SO2. Then you balance half equation. So you say there's four oxygens there. So you add. Um, there's four oxygens, you add two waters here because you already got two oxygens here. So you only need two waters to balance the oxygens. Then you have four H plus here, so you add four H plus. And then you have the iodine there, so you add two I minus there, okay? This is H2SO4 goes to H2S. So those are the two products formed. So you do balance the equations again. There's four SO4 there. So four oxygens, so you need four waters to balance it off. Then you add eight H plus because there's eight H plus here. Okay. And then you have um, the rest balances out. Then you have got iodine here. The four times two is eight. So you add eight, eight I minus. So what's the role of sulfuric acid? Sulfuric acid is an oxidizing agent because it gets to reduce itself. Okay. That's the reason. 6.5, the student had a few drops of acidified silver nitrate solution to solution of a non impure sodium halide. The student absorbs bubbles of gas in a colorless solution. The student bubbles the gas through a calcium hydroxide a solution and white precipitate form. So that means that um, it gives you the milky water, the milky, the milky solution, isn't it? So that means there's a presence of CO2 there. Reduced identity of sodium halide, so it's going to be sodium fluoride. Okay, because it's sodium fluoride, because so it forms a colorless solution. Sodium fluoride forms a colorless solution with, with the silver nitrate. So, just identity of gas has to be a CO2 because it, it forms a white precipitate when you, when you bubble cast through the calcium hydroxide. I have an equation for given ionic equation for measure this gas from impurity. So you got carbonate plus H2, 2H plus gives a CO2 plus water. Okay? And that's how you do these questions.
sorry, I forgot to say this. If you got carbonated start with, it forms a CO2. Then you balance this equation by adding on water. So you got one water, then you got three oxygens. Then you have two hydrogens there, two hydrogens. Because it's 2 minus plus 2 plus gives you 0. The equation is balanced. You don't have to add any electrons. Question 6.6. .6. The ClF2 plus ion contains two different groups, seven elements. Use an understanding of the electron pair of repulsion theory to draw the shape of this ion. Include any long pairs of electrons and their influence the shape. Explain why the ion has the shape you have drawn. Suggest a value of a bond angle of the, in the ion. So there's three marks. So the shape is going to be Cl, and you got fluorine, fluorine, and you got two lone pairs. Okay. Now that's one mark. So then you have exponential lone pairs of react of electrons repel more than bonding pairs because that's why they give you that shape. Bonding pairs repel as far as apart as possible. Then the angles could be 104.5 because it's the same as a water molecule. Okay, because you got two bonding pairs and two lone pairs. You based on that too. 6.7, magnesium is used to in extraction of titanium from titanium 4 chloride. It says, given the equation for this reaction, so you have to know this, but you got titanium chloride, 4 chloride is like that, and then you got magnesium, uh, titanium from there. So you add magnesium, because they say it's here, magnesium is this, so you got titanium chloride plus magnesium, gives you magnesium chloride plus titanium. And you have to know this equation. It comes quite a lot often in the exam papers.